Well, the Florida legislature is considering bills that would permit lawsuits to recover damages for the wrongful death of fetuses at any stage of development in the womb, even if the fetus wouldn't have been able to survive outside the womb. So far, the bills have mostly been approved on party lines in committee hearings. This week, all seven Democrats in the House Judiciary Committee voted against the proposal, citing concerns about how it would establish personhood at the moment of conception and potentially harm in vitro fertilization, health care workers, and women seeking abortions. The proposals define an unborn child as a member of the species Homo sapiens at any stage of development who is carried in the womb. The requirement for the fetus to be carried in the womb leaves in vitro fertilization out of the scope of the bill. Yet the bill doesn't go far enough for some in the anti-abortion movement. The group Florida Voice for the Unborn says there are hundreds of thousands of unborn children that are frozen as human embryos in this country, including tens of thousands here in Florida. We need to expand the definition, the group says. They say this definition in the amendment is too narrow. So Janelle, the sponsor of the bill says she's going to go to the legislature on Monday, make some changes in the bill, present them on Monday, and uh, she wants to indicate that this is only about wrongful death cases. It's not expanding the definition of life to the moment of conception in all cases. Uh, it, yet the opponents say, look, this opens the door to a whole flood of possibilities, a Pandora's box of unexpected things. Yes, and saying that something is so does not make it so necessarily, right? So <clears throat> the concern is, there's too many concerns to even count at this point. I mean, there are implications to abortion. There are implications to people who are seeking in vitro fertilization. Look no further than Alabama and what we have going on there. Anybody who's on social media has no doubt seen any number of memes of pictures of egg cartons in grocery stores saying, oh, look, an orphanage. This has a lot of ripple effects that can potentially happen. And I think if this passes, what you're going to see is something like what we just discussed with, uh, with the book banning, where the legislature later on has to come back and say, whoa, we, we were a little bit vague here. We've got we've to roll it back a little bit. But uh, given the legislature's track record, I think this is very intentional. And they can say that those unintended consequences are in fact unintended, but the evidence suggests that they're not unintended. <laughs> Alan, do you, Alan, do you think this is uh, intentional on the part of the legislature to open the door to, to recognize that life begins right at the moment of conception? It is intentional, but they would be best advised to see what's going on in Alabama, as Janelle uh, to, you know, uh, pointed out, because uh, you know, there are Republican families who want children. There are Democratic families who, who want children. Uh, and uh, if this leads to a possibility that in vitro fertilization is something that health care providers will not do, um, this will backfire on them. And look, if, if, if they need something else to go on other than what families may or may not want to do in terms of family planning, look at it from a political perspective. It has been proven in poll after poll after poll that the vast majority of Americans and Floridians are in favor of some level of abortion access with restrictions. Um, and this is this is parallel to that. So this is not something that in an election year is probably in the GOP's favor to pursue because it is going to be slapped on television ads, mailers, you name it, to try to win votes from people against Republicans. Mike, the, the sponsor, though, does say she's going to go back to the legislature on Monday and, and, and make sure that this law only applies to wrongful death lawsuits uh, and not expand the definition of when life begins. What's your take on that? Well, it also also affects those where the where you're, it's in the womb, okay? Mm -hmm. Not outside the womb. And I think we need to t realize that, make it certain that people understand that. Uh, with that said, I disagree with what the uh, Alabama Supreme Court did. Uh, I think it takes away the ability for parents, couples who want to have a child, have that ability to have that child. I mean, I agree with Mike Pence, is what he said yesterday, the same thing, and pretty much many, many Republicans throughout this country are saying the same thing, that the Alabama Supreme Court, what they did was wrong. And Mike, I should say that you're on the right to life. I'm a right side to life, issue. absolutely. I believe in life at conception. Um, and so, but I also believe that parents should have that ability uh, who are able to have a child, 
have that, uh, that fertilization option. Uh, I'm guessing Mike also agrees that women who have a miscarriage should not be criminalized for having a miscarriage. Absolutely. That, I totally agree. But also, if you, if you look at the bill, the bill clearly says that the woman would never be charged uh -huh. or cannot be sued. Gene, Gene uh, uh, do you think the legislature is opening the door to something wider, or is it just going to apply to wrongful death lawsuits? I, I think it's, you're setting the path for it, definitely. Um, I, I think that the, the anti-abortion movement has been very, very good at what they do. Um, been able to get Supreme Court justices in, um, and they're, it's actually honest this time around what they're doing about it. You know, it used to be they'd ask for the world hoping to get a little bit. Now you can pretty much get whatever you want. So I think the whole goal is get life determined as a conception and go from there. So I think that uh, you know, it's intentional. I think they're going to... I think they're going to work on getting it, but I think being an election year, I think you might have a point where it might get tabled to, to uh, another year, something more uh, defined and uh, 